until this your health is in your hand you cannot do anything the first step of me calling her meleta ma because 30% of my meals were taken care because i had idli and dosa it was very emotional for me also because i just delivered my third child that time and he could not pick him up also that pain was so severe yeah these things shook us both badly and we decided that uh, you know we're not going to go through the allopathy way we're going to go through the lifestyle change way even if you have one millet meal a day you see the change Rujika Ajay very nice talking to both of you Millet Amma this name only of course you guys have come on Shark Tank and uh, but uh, Millet Amma bahut hi interesting naam hai and uh, very different and i feel very required for india so tell us first the story about the name and what got you to start this so this started in about 2016 i would say then when uh, Ajay had a lot of health issues basically he had a lot of inflammation in his body mm-hmm. and a back back ache which was because of the inflammation so as usual you know being a housewife and uh, we go went to physiotherapist and everything we did medically possible but uh, soon we started realizing that you know things are not really working out and uh, his pain was so bad that he used to take half an hour to get up out of bed oh yeah which yeah. was 2017 16, 16. i was yeah. around 40 years away <laughs> <laughs> wow so and why was that because you were not taking care of yourself at all <coughs> right <laughs> uh, i mean you could say that but yeah um, i think it was also um, because we were going through a, a very high level of stress in our business in the family business uh, which my dad was uh, which my dad had promoted and that was going down so we were in that last leg of firefighting and trying to yeah. revive the business it was a fairly large organization and uh, with that stress and also you know my dad passed away due to a severe cardiac arrest uh, due to the worry. stress yeah, yeah. in the same oh, period so sorry, yeah. yeah so it was like a like it just came crashing down like everything family wise and business wise so that uh, stress caused it's like a tsunami in <laughs> yeah for yes, us it yeah. for us it was it like, was a, like a tsunami. Tsunami. Yeah. so um, that stress caused this inflammation and uh, and also obviously i was not at my best in terms of my health regime in terms of working out or diet management i was eating comfort food and uh, so everything like uh, added fuel to fire and uh, that's why uh, i had this lower back problem the problem you know, was i really think that emotions and foods are so related absolutely no? absolutely. absolutely so absolutely. when you're in that emotion you don't realize you're just eating right mm-hmm. and you just want to eat all day and i uh, eat unhealthy all day yeah absolutely munching you know all the fried stuff and stuff like that so uh, that caused this whole problem at that time i was also detected with high cholesterol because of the bad food that i ate both these things shook us both badly and we decided that uh, you know we're not going to go through the allopathy way we're going to go through the lifestyle change way and we did a lot of research the about other thing yeah yeah but the long term thing yeah absolutely uh, so we a friend of ours nudged us uh, on this side and uh, it worked out well so no, actually <coughs> when she saw him she said you know you know ruchika he has lot of inflammation you can see from his body and you need to work on his food because that is what creating so much inflammation and right. the nerve is getting pressed mm. because of which the pain is so severe so start working on that that one word of inflammation <laughs> really changed the whole picture yeah so the research went around how you can eat uh, foods that are not inflammatory in nature gluten became the number one devil <laughs> in the diet system yeah. because that creates a lot of inflammation especially if you are uh, sensitive so once i went off a gluten free diet within weeks i could see a, a difference change. Within, no, actually what we did that we both of us planned that he will go off everything so he yeah. was on a vegetable and a fruit diet for 10 days and he being a foodie <laughs> from calcutta both of us like all kinds of uh, you know chatpata food it was very very difficult more than him i was scared how will he take this off you know so but then his willpower was like yes i have to do this ruchika at this point of time in our life we cannot have this problem yeah yeah yeah, yeah i had gained about 8 kilos from my normal uh, in just yeah. a span of couple of months 
it was very scary so yeah yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. it was very emotional for me also because i just delivered my third child that time and he could not pick him up also oh that pain was so severe yeah so now then he started working on his yoga swimming everything otherwise he used to go to office and sit on an exercise ball and do meetings yeah Imagine. I didn't have a chair because <laughs> oh I had to. Oh my God! It was that bad. Yeah, yes. I had to keep my core engaged. So my physio said that you sit on a on a that medicine ball. It was funny, but yeah, that's what I did. And at <laughs> that span of time, when you are going through so much in your finance, so that was really really tough. And we lost dad also at that time. So everything looked as if everything is going down, and things was really really emotional at the same time. But we both said no we have to do this because until this your health is in your hand you cannot do anything yeah so that is your main i would say asset so let's work on that and then we started working then when i researched that something has to be given as a carb to him which gives him energy right so then i researched which grain can i give him i didn't know about millets being gluten free or <laughs> this <laughs> nothing and and there was nobody saying talking about millets also at that time span then when i researched about gluten free grain then came across millets and then what better than a dosa or <laughs> an idli for him because so being, being a bangalore south. boy idli dosa was like the most favorite so but in that yeah. also i had that challenge that i can't give him rice so i have to give him only millet batter so i started experimenting the combinations how i have to do how much millet how much dal because dal also may create lot of gas for him so lot of experiment used to happen in my kitchen <laughs> wow so then we set with one experiment with one batter recipe and it came out really really nice he said ruchika this i can have <laughs> you can make four five dishes at least with this and let's start off with this i mean i would say 30% of my meals were taken care because i had idli and dosa <laughs> yeah so that was a big one and uh, yeah from there the journey kind of started yeah. from the first step of me calling her millet amma because for the first few trials were bad very very bad <laughs> <laughs> it was probably after 10 trials that we got it right and it was just a fun thing and a new thing that was happening in the house and uh, because of it being tasty it was uh, accepted even by my children oh. who were very young at that point in time even my mom she also took to it and so we said that you know if food can be tasty and healthy is the best combination and from there the whole shift on lifestyle change with change of food habits started and more recipes were developed and stuff like that and uh, during that course i also the business shut down so we had to start something new <clears throat> to keep ourselves afloat and uh, id was a big story at that point in yes, time yes. harvard had reviewed id and it was a very huge success so we said okay we have a batter if <laughs> if, if id can sell a couple of lakh packets a day can we sell a few thousand and with that uh, believe we jumped into this uh, industry of food uh, from steel to food and uh, from then it was just a lot of learning and uh, the one thing that kept us going was we never gave up because we truly believed in the magical power of millet and we knew that today tomorrow or sometime we would be we will crack it we will learn from our mistakes we will learn from people and uh, we were uh, like very confident about our products and the impact that it can have So after COVID, we were invited by Indian Institute of Millet Research uh, to be uh, incubated with them. It is uh, today. Uh, un- uh, it is today announced as the global hub for millet research. Mm. So it's a big one, and being there gave us a lot of exposure in terms of the agri aspect of millets and how millet can turn around the he- uh, the environment as as well. So we learned many more things about uh, other than just the health benefits of millets. Yeah. you yeah. know uh, how the how it can impact climate change because it's a climate resilient pro, uh, uh, grain and it can grow without pesticides and fertilizers so it becomes organic by default and it requires just 5% of water to grow as compared to rice yeah rice requires 9000 liters of water oh. per kilo <laughs> per whereas, kg uh, whereas millet requires just 300 wow so if we're talking about water conservation yes. i would say 1 kg of uh, a uh, grain substituted in every family can you imagine nine you will save 8700 liters of water per family 
Imagine. Per yeah. kg of rice. Per plus health. Plus health. Plus health. And, uh, and, the, and farmers, the farmers. Yeah, farmers yes. benefit because without any irrigation expenses, they are able to grow this. It can grow on dry lands with very little interference of irrigation. No water, no fertilizer, no pesticide. It's a wild grass in a in some sense, you know. To me, this story is like so powerful and very important. Like before we proceed to call out to everyone who would be listening and watching us is that the our biggest pain and suffering that we go through in life can also, you know, can pull us down and uh, and and give us pain. But that pain also, you know, if you if you come from a heart place to solve it uh, can also lead to the biggest change and transformation also and it happens and you both are an example of that kyunki aisa nahi ki ye ye story unique hai but aapne jo kiya hai wo unique hai like i'm sure many people will be having this kind of a problem or going through how many of us in our stress time we get sometimes you don't feel like getting up also but uh, and you just you, give in right yeah. you and you just you just give it to up you don't you give up and you just fall in the hands of the <coughs> hospitals and the doctors and then they take you that route yeah and you chose the tougher path as i said the harder path of uh, going through this and of course i want to call you out to chika because somewhere i always feel and again i have to say this that women bring this kind of a devotional energy and love energy which also brings change right like and that is also so important for healing absolutely yes. i think that is uh, the core even more important than millet it is the belief that you 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 have that uh, never give up attitude towards solving a problem that you is you know veda ved ye sab mein kehte hain ki bhakti bhavna aur seva bhavna matlab kisi aur she wanted to solve it for you yeah, uh, she yes. wanted to solve it for her child and and in the process both of you have gone on to create uh, millet amma <laughs> yeah. and now you're not just solving for yourself because you're yeah. solving it for the for planet for humanity yes. for people correct It's so that's what you know yeah. when we continued this diet for about a year we could see the changes in our health both of our health so you also switched to yeah yeah, yeah the okay. whole family in fact oh. that's why we because have because if i products. just give it to him to eat something <laughs> and <laughs> not eat myself yeah it's, if it's i'm having a dosa and she's having a <laughs> a roasty then i don't think that will work <laughs> oh yes and that's not fair at all <laughs> <laughs> so that other uh, yeah and that's also ensuring that he will not follow anyone so, will not follow exactly yeah. so we have to be an example in our house Absolutely. to for our children for others in the house so that they they can follow you and take this up so even if now i meet anybody or my customers call me i said be an example in your house exactly if they are not eating it's fine you start it with one meal a day and you see the changes in yourself and they will notice the change in you and they will also start thinking that why can't i do that when she can do i can also do it's always lead by example right yeah, yeah. so yeah. that that is i think the one of the key things yeah so what we were saying that with one year of change what we saw in our family uh both of us decided that you know since we were also looking for some kind of entrepreneurship and all that and uh, this became our uh, soul journey basically i would say that yes when we can bring about such a change in our family with the little change in the food why can't we the others do this and let's spread this awareness around us because at that time there was nobody knowing about millets oh yeah yeah i can't yeah. imagine 2017 at least i had heard yeah, of people i had to if i had to buy millets also and the correct millets i had to go to mysore to buy it it was yeah. not so it easily available it was not available, available here or especially those millets which we wanted to buy so we used to drive down <laughs> get that but what there. was the change just for everyone's uh, uh, understanding what was the some of the changes that you saw in that one year when you adopted to millet the level of energy mm the level of energy both of us had was awesome and that time you need that and we could focus we could uh, feel that yes we were so light we never bloated we were um, very happy In great gut health gut health is yeah. something i think will uh, yes and 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 if you had to explain explain to everyone because you know we all hear gut health magar hota kya hai gut health ko matlab agar gut health acha hai to kya usse fayda hota hai gut health is simply put yeah. i think it would be good good digestive system and good yeah. performance of the digestive system that is very gut simply health. put what gut health is because our gut has a lot of bacteria uh, the good bacteria which 
uh, which is responsible for the uh, health of absorption. the gut and uh, and the absorption of the food the breakdown of the food like the entire digestion happens there so uh, high fiber food helps in uh, supporting that and when you have all refined food which we to now in the modern day have it goes and disturbs the gut health and it uh, clogs the uh, digestive system and you have uh, irritable uh, you know bowel movements and yeah it stays like in that. your system for a longer time so anything what stays in your stomach for a longer time you can imagine you know the, <laughs> the, gut, the havoc yeah. it would yeah. be creating yeah. inside your body Correct. and your yeah. gut is your second brain you Stop know but this is so important and, and to everyone then there is this that rather than going to the doctor first immediately and taking all these medicines and all these fancy mm. expensive nutraceuticals supplements supplements that's that's a big yeah. thing nowadays is that <laughs> maybe just as basic as just go back to your roots go to let amma yeah. <laughs> <laughs> surely that is there but yeah. yeah we have to go back to our roots and understand what our ancestors used to do how they used to live their life and it was so simple it is very very simple so we have to just bring that back in our kitchen and then do it you know i have to congratulate both of you because i just saw the products that you have and uh, noodles bhi hai aur pizza bhi hai aur sare cheeze hain millet mein ye to mere liye aaj mere liye pehli baat hai because i have heard of millet but to me that you have everything possible in millet yeah. today now let's go back to the story that then you decided that entrepreneurship karna hai change hua hai hamari life mein itna तो चलो इस पे करते हैं एंड देन व्हाट हैपेंड सो वी स्टार्टेड विद वन बैटर एट दैट टाइम वी थॉट दैट बैटर वुड रियली हेल्प अस ओनली बट ड्यूरिंग दैट जर्नी व्हेन आई यूज्ड टू टॉक टू द कस्टमर्स आई हैड लॉट ऑफ डायबिटिक कस्टमर्स विद मी रीचिंग आउट टू मी बिकॉज़ इन ड्यूरिंग माय रिसर्च आई केम अप दैट इट कैन हेल्प डायबिटीज एट अ लार्ज स्केल सो आई यूज्ड टू टेल पीपल देन दे शुड दैट बैटर तो खाया लेकिन शुगर कम नहीं हुआ देन आई अंडरस्टूड दैट यू नो बस जस्ट गिविंग दैम वन प्रोडक्ट इट वोंट हेल्प दैम दे नीड थ्रू आउट द डे वॉट एवर दे आर ईटिंग टू बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू मिलेट ऑल्सो सो दैट अंडरस्टैंडिंग केप डेवलपिंग एंड सो फ्रॉम वन बैटर देन आई वेंट टू पिज्जा बेस पिज्जा बेस वॉज ऑल्सो माई ओन जर्नी विद माई चिल्ड्रेन बिकॉज एज अ मदर दे यूज टू हैव पिज्जा एवरी वीक so i i used to feel very bad giving them maida pizzas i had no we other alternative we used to have friday as movie nights <laughs> with yeah. the children and uh, you know i think <laughs> they didn't have so much to be blamed on so and yeah, we had no yeah. option that but to order them yeah, the pizza yeah, that was available yeah i feel sad for yeah. parents also but they are the culprits also absolutely yes. yeah. yeah we don't we have, give up to them yeah yeah we uh, introduce them to stuff and then we tell them don't have it yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's yeah, yeah, not yeah. Uh, their fault so now that we have options uh, you know we they are happy because they are satiated mm-hmm. and they are able to eat uh, their they craving. get their noodles yeah they and get they get their noodles yeah. their pastas their pizzas, pizzas. they like get their biryanis f- with millets they get their herb rice with italian vegetable wow so whatever the ingredient is required is made in house so for example if you have to make the flour we make it in house we make the rava on our own we make their spices mix also in our own i feel that if i have put what in the ingredient as the best quality the product will be best yeah so so you uh, tell tell us about the scale at which you are operating today today do you do do you have a place where all these are uh, and it's in bangalore mm-hmm. yes uh, so it's uh, we are located in yamlur mm. uh, which is behind the hal airport mm. uh, it's a space of a basement ground and first floor Operating. But you know, I have to tell you one thing before you continue. I, I'll tell. I one of my thinking and feedback. Why millet has not been a fast journey? For example, I would love to uh, use millet or have millet in my life. It's. I somehow feel it's. It still feels inconvenient yeah. to access millet. I don't know why. Yeah, accessibility is an issue because yeah. uh, it's. Uh, so it's a chicken and egg situation because some, uh, we as manufacturers of millets feel that there's uh, no consistent demand. and mm. you as an aspiring person to want to have a mill- yeah. have millets feel that there's no accessibility yeah. so as of now uh, it's uh, digitally i think it's uh, through e-commerce it's easily available we supply pan india uh, through amazon as well as uh, through our website uh, so that is one level of accessibility that we could reach and it uh, we are serving pan india uh, and through the help of social media marketing and uh, digital marketing we are able to uh, you know showcase the right audience as much as we can although digital marketing is getting very expensive but still within the limitation of us staying profitable we put in a lot of budget for marketing and try to reach out to people with, 
who are seeking that Haan, so i think the awareness has picked up uh, very well after uno announced uh, 2023 as the international year of millets yeah. and our honorable prime minister modi ji has uh, done a fantastic job in promoting millets i think he, he took millets to the white house and served everybody uh, and he spoke about millets all through the year almost at every uh, incident possible so i think that was a great thing that was done that pushed the that pushed the whole millet, yeah. uh, limelight on millets as yeah. well and uh, now we can see that there is demand so we get we are getting uh, inquiries from uh, food distributors and also retailers so i think in the coming 3 to 5 years uh, we will see that millets is available easily and accessible yeah and i think we should all champion the cause of millets and and stories like yours need to be told like see this story yeah. is not a uncommon story i am sure but the solution uh, is yeah. is not a common one yes yeah so that's what so i'm saying uh, if we are able to spread the goodness of millets uh, through our story or through any other means i think it will help a lot because uh, it's a simple change and uh, we believe that anything that can be made with rice and wheat can be made with millets yes. we uh, <laughs> it's really not that difficult it's just that we need to be uh, have, having perseverance to of the homemaker has to be hell bent yes that's and, what uh, i say I mean, to so all the like my homemaker yeah. was <laughs> but you are making it also convenient all yes, the products yes. that yeah, you have yeah, yeah. is very, also very making convenient. convenient like i'll be very honest i'm not the person who cooks mm. like i have a uh, person who comes home and she cooks but like if i have all the products then you just See, for example this pongal okay this pongal is ready it has every yes. uh, spices and everything you just have to pressure cook it that's and it and that is what i like about your products yeah so we have uh, nearly 50 products divided yeah yeah <laughs> wow <coughs> divided in three categories mm -hmm. uh, we divided it, we call it basic which includes just the grain flour rava which is there's no value addition in that sense there's no recipe it's just changing the form basic uh, grain basic uh, then we yeah then we have the ready to eat which comprises of breakfast cereals savories and sweets like laddu and things like that and then we have ready to cook which includes breakfast mixes it includes uh, noodles pasta pizza so we have like food for the entire day for all the members of the family so it's easy to imbibe that change i mean there's something someone will like so you know, we we uh, when we were there in shark tank though we said we want to be a one stop shop for a family for millet products yeah, that's, yeah. That's so anybody in the family maybe a child or a old lady or a youngster they should not be deprived of any ingredients like any kind of recipes or any kind of uh, meal in their house it should not be a uh, yeah one time or a fad Correct. it yeah. should be your Lifetime. life yeah and definitely this is not a fad yeah. as namita thapar also <laughs> said and she mentioned this very clearly that the moment she went gluten free and started on uh, jowar bajra and ragi she saw you change in her life right in her health so this is one good example and there are so many other examples you know people who have turned themselves into a millet diet and you change in their uh, health i have cancer patients i have diabetic patients i have immune disorder patients ibs patients and they all vouch for millets now they say yeah. that within 3 months you can see the whole change wow. within 3 months and that too even if you have one millet meal a day you see the change tell me something i also want to understand from both of you husband why working together how is it how is it been like both of you are entrepreneurs now both of you are also co-founders what how does the equation work on a day to day basis i think it's been good we've been uh, i mean this, we've been asked this question many times but uh, actually we've Tashwood has been great our, uh, it's been great goals. for us uh, we yeah. are uh, that makes us also enjoy work because we like spending time with each other okay we do have our good days and bad that's days amazing. together that's amazing marriage yeah. after so many years <laughs> yeah. Yeah. enjoy spending time yeah. together yeah. that's and a separate conversation because, interview yeah and <laughs> also i think our uh, the passion that we share yeah. to see millet amma as a global brand and see see more and more people imbibe the millet lifestyle and the, the joy that we get from that mm. is uh, the purpose also by yeah, yes yes yeah, yeah, so yeah. we work then we automatically start working as a team so for you know, example so you know sometimes uh, i am in touch with my customers directly i like to be in touch with them through the whatsapp 
so whenever any, i can get, i get any kind of response from them and this it's very overwhelming for you we both will sit down for half an hour discussing all that and it's so it's so nice to feel that yes somebody has benefited out of millet so much and they write a small uh, you know response of theirs so yeah i mean when people kind of appreciate what you're doing yeah. right so it's it's very biggest rewarding joy, biggest yeah, joy, biggest yeah. Joy. and, and, and yeah. it's like it's again i'm saying it's in a very yogic way it's also seva bhavna because yeah, yes. what you're doing is so transformative uh since i was a child i always had in me that either i'll become a doctor or i'll do something where you know i can give something back to the society so i used to tell my mom i'll become a doctor i'll become something like that she said no 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 you can't study so much. i'm like okay fine i knew that i was not that great in studies with become a doctor and study so much then uh, later i thought okay fine i'll make a hospital and you know do something service you know giving back yes, to the society yes. so the i way, i yeah. think that god has shown us this way in the real way to give service to the country yeah. or the people around me yes cancer patients uh, when they come back to me and say that after chemo because i am continuously having millets i still have so much energy wow so that is you know i, I can't explain the kind Nothing of happiness else i can yes satisfy make up for that yeah, just, yeah. Yes. so that i think is uh, that purpose you know uh, kind of binds us together to keep working and uh, not fight do away yes. with all <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. that becomes too small you that know that becomes yeah. too small yeah. the the purpose is so large yes uh that those small things you know we say okay fine forget it that would happen with anyone yeah, no? yeah, yeah. Right. any best friend any <laughs> yeah basically uh, one yeah 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 oh, i also wanted to understand from both of you what's your plan how do you plan to scale grow what's the vision ahead after 7 years of being a boutique and a bootstrapped uh business we definitely want to scale because uh the fact that we were aired on shark tank is a validation that we're doing something worthwhile yeah. and also from our various customers and especially after being on shark tank we got so many uh, oh, yeah. good wishes <laughs> on our uh, you know that insta was... handles and all the other touch points where customers could uh, reach on our whatsapp us, yeah. on my whatsapp direct number linkedin everywhere yeah. you know people appreciating what we're doing and uh, all that so we are now charged you know we really want to do something and yes. of course we had a great vision of make, making this a global brand but now the urgency has become like all time high <laughs> and we're looking at <laughs> we're looking at uh, raising funds and uh, um, associating with people who can guide us and be part of the team to uh, achieve the vision of uh, militama and people thanks to social media i think uh, the awareness happens fairly quickly the habit formation may take little time but the awareness with social media i think happens fairly quickly but we've got a lot of time, uh, inquiries for export uh, as well but people well. have to be little conscious when they buying their own millets so uh, and the millet products because uh, the percentage of millet in your product is very very important how much yeah. percentage of millet is going in your product so that is what i keep in mind when i am formulating any product it should not be less than 50% minimum because unless you get the good quantity of millet in your diet there's no point just having 10% of millet oh yeah, yeah. it will not affect your health right so that's also something yeah. to be mindful but because as a consumer yes. i wouldn't know yes because we go to the market you will see any kind of uh, product but uh, you don't turn around but in the front it will be written millet mostly is or millet noodles or millet anything you know but at, at the back if you turn around and see the percentage that is very very important Yeah. yeah that's one thing that yeah. uh, most of the clean food companies and the industries are uh, saying that it's very important for consumers to read the label if uh, they are buying any health product yeah because in the name of health uh, there are <clears throat> multiple products which are uh, sold but which are not actually healthy but they comply with the regulatory norms some way so it's a very tricky situation so i think that awareness is also required yeah but you, i would suggest that everyone should go to millet amma <laughs> <laughs> because yeah. amma ke heart se jo aayega wo acha hi hoga and you, yeah. and, and, yeah, and it comes from a good place it's come from a good place yeah so basically what you're saying is now you're looking at growing and scaling yes, and expanding yes. and uh, so you would be looking at raising external capital yes right. absolutely yeah. and yeah and uh, you know associating with a, making a good team because so far it's been a husband and wife company it's fine <laughs> we've done what right, we did uh, we learned a lot but i think uh, still lot long way to go to learn 
distribution and how the food industry works and all of that is uh, still something uh, I don't think we've learned enough. So it'll be great, good to have uh, good experience. team, experienced people to work with. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully a lot of people listening to this would look at or uh, reach out to reach us. Reach out to yes. both of you. <laughs> sure. No, but it has been an honor, Ruchika Ajay. Thank, thank you. Uh, uh, this story also inspires me. Uh, mm-hmm. Because I'm also going to remember some, you know, whenever we are in pain or something wrong or something bad or something, we can't wake up or we can't, we have a pain. So we think that, let's go, it's a good, helpful, <laughs> impactful and scalable startup. Ho sakta hai. And Millet Amma yes. is that story. So wish you both all the very best. And I would Thank request you. everyone to uh, go and buy products from Millet Amma or fit. Ban jate. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so Thank much you for so having much. us.